Good morning everyone and welcome to the Walt Disney World vlog series. I actually can't believe this day is finally here. We dropped the cats off at my mum's last night and we got here at this travel lodge. It's about 10 minutes away from Manchester Airport, really late. Um, so I didn't bother vlogging this because it's just a travel lodge. Box standard, really. Bed's not made because we've just slept in it. But I can't believe this day is finally here. I literally keep crying every time I think about it. But we're going to go and head to Manchester Airport now. Um, so I will catch up with you back when we are there. In a quarter of a mile, turn right onto Chester Road. So we're at um, Terminal 2. Security was absolute chaos. It took us about an hour and a half to get through. I thought it had improved since we was last here in May and it just seems to have gotten progressively worse. But last time we flew from Terminal 1 and this time we're flying from Terminal 2. So maybe that's why, maybe there's a little bit of a difference there. But yeah, give yourself plenty of time. We literally got here as soon as gate, the gate opened, not the gate opened, as soon as check-in opened. And we now, it's now 9.45 and our flight's at 11 and we've literally only just sat down to get food. So make sure you give yourself plenty of time if you are flying from Manchester. We're flying with Aer Lingus. I am gonna go to Pret there and get myself like a sandwich for the flight because I get so travel sick on flights and I cannot stand plain food. Like I literally, that, I think that makes me feel even worse. So I'm gonna get some food, like a sandwich or something. So I've got like a safe option. Just went for James um, to get some sweets for the plane. And um, when we get to the gate, I'll continue this video. There's our plane. I put air tags on our baggage. And it's not been put on the thing yet. Hmm. It's 1.2 miles away. We're on the plane. So we're like, We've just gotten to the Mia's Connect. Um, are you excited? Are you excited now? It's so hot, but it's raining. We're literally here, and I cannot physically believe it. I all day. So, we're going to go to Walmart now, aren't we? 
Walmart. Walmart. This way. Uh, Very good, man. Yeah, Apple. well I mean I've been crying haven't I? Yeah. I went into the room and started crying so, which is why the camera wasn't on. Um, but we're going to go to Walmart now and we'll take you with us. I've done the little room tour but I'll do like the grounds tour and how, where we're staying and all that jazz because it's just too overwhelming at the moment to do it all right now. And we're really tired, we're really hungry and we both want to go to Walmart so uh, that's what we're doing now. Is real bad. Yes, James needs painkillers, he's got a really bad back. Oh my god, they've literally got Halloween cushions on clearance for one dollar. No, I can't, I can't do it. I literally, I'm, I'm overwhelmed already. James already doesn't understand why I've put melatonin in the basket like as soon as we've got here. But anyone who knows, like if you know, you know. Oh, look at the pumpkin scented hand soap. Oh, this is so exciting. Right. So this makes the most sense for me to get some Halloween candy because I'm literally here for Halloween. Ooh, James wanted candy corn. $2.28. Oh. Do you want autumn mix or do you want classic candy corn to try it? It's only $2. Just get the classic one. You want classic candy corn. I told him he won't like it, but we have to try it while we're here. Stop it, look at all the Halloween stuff. Oh my God. I wish we had like a shipping container. Oh my God. Look at that light up Sally. Oh my God. And there's a zero one. A cat. Oh my God, and a Grogu. Absolute top tip from me. If you are coming to Disney and you have relatives, there's anything like my relatives, and by my relatives, I mean my grandma, she is an absolute sucker for a tacky magnet, tacky fridge magnet, wherever you've been. And in Walmart, they have the tackiest, but like the loveliest, the tackiest key rings, over the top towels, so like if you're looking for like souvenir style stuff do not play florida prices like look at all these fridge magnets and they're literally three dollars 96 and they're about 15 in um the parks they even sell mini ears for 9.97 and these look pretty similar to what is in the parks so if you've got kids who want all the disney themed stuff this is absolutely ideal to bring them to Walmart and get it all here instead. Out, yeah. yeah, and the fan. I miss those. These are really like nostalgic for me. These are $14.97. There's literally so many Disney t-shirts. James is going for Monster. Okay, you do you. I'm going to be around here. We've got Star Wars t-shirts, the little family ones. Mum, Grandma. Oh my God, they've got matching caps as well. So cute. <gasps> More magnets. Today I'm gonna get some sugar cookies, but I can't find them. But look at these Halloween themed cupcakes. Look at the size of their eggplants. Yeah, no, they'd be great enough for a treat and never made Baba Goon. <laughs> look at the size of the eggplants here. Here is what I have been waiting for. The sugar cookies. I'm gonna have to get them. I physically have to. These pumpkins are just the most delightful thing I've ever seen. $3.88 for a whole bag of squash. If I could get this giant box of cinnamon toast crunch and take it home, I absolutely would. What's French toast crunch? Someone please tell me why we do not have this amount of variety with our Oreos. Oh my God, birthday cake Oreos. Cookie dirt Oreos. Peanut butter pie. Peanut butter. What is going on? Oh, I love Oreos, you know. 
So we've just got back from Walmart and um, we're going to go to the food court and then get food and then I'll show you around the hotel but I'll start doing bits of the hotel now. So this is our section. We are in, what is this, Herbie? Yeah. We're in the Herbie section. The winner's circle. The winner's circle. And you know what, to say that I was a bit fuming that we got Herbie, it's actually quite nice. So as you come out of our love bug bit, you head over into the Fantasia bit. And I don't know if you can see, but they're toasting marshmallows. It smells good. It smells so good. Here are the Fantasia buckets. And the Fantasia section. So then you get to the Fantasia bit, and I think that these are the preferred rooms, um, which we did not pay for because. It's very extra, so, yeah, you have to pay extra to stay in these ones. Yeah, and it's like a lot more expensive as well. Right, we're heading into the food court now. Um, do you know what I want to get? Ooh, sesame chicken stir fry. That looks quite nice. I need to see it in person though before I decide. And we need to figure out where we get the reusable mugs from. Because there's the refilling station. So let's, oh there we go. Refillable mugs. Got our 50th mugs. Love it. So we've just had dinner, um, or tea. Um, oh, the steam in my hair. But the literal state of it is so bad. I need to sort that as soon as I get into the hotel. Um, but we've had dinner. It was absolutely delicious, but I am so now ready for bed. I've got a Fanta to take to bed with me because if you know about the American Fanta compared to the UK Fanta, like, why is it so orange? Why does it taste so much better? Questions that remain to be answered. But I'll just do a quick tour. James has gone to bed because he was in like desperate need of a shower, but I'd already had one. So I'm going to finish this tour and that will be the end of our travel day. So I'll finish this tour now. So I'll show you around the resort. So this is the lobby. I don't know why, like all star lobbies smell so good. Like it's like apples maybe. I don't know. I've tried to explain it to so many people and I just can't. And then you come up to the shop here, which I can't really bother going in right now. Sorry, guys. And the food court, which is where we've just been. And then as you come just towards, as you're heading towards the pool, you come to a little arcade section here. We've got some of the Hall of Fame. The Muppets. I love the Muppets. You all need to go and watch the Muppets Haunted Mansion if you have not watched it already. It is fantastic. Okay, so, fun fact. All Star Movies was the first hotel that I ever stayed in when I first came to Disney. I stayed here when I was like six. And um, the one place, the one hotel that I was really, really wishing we would stay in was the Dalmatian section. And unfortunately, we're not in the Dalmatian section, but I can come and show you it. So this is the section that I always wanted to stay in when I was a little kid because I grew up with dogs and I was like, oh my God, giant Dalmatians. But I just need you to see the side of these Dalmatians. Okay, look at the size of these Dalmatians. They are literally huge. I can't even explain it to you. And there's a little photo up section over here as well. So there's a little photo section. You've got all the little puppies running along. There's like Dalmatian print there. You've got Ponga and Parida. I think that's what you say her name. Please no Dalmatians fans come for me on that one. But I just think this part is just absolutely gorgeous. This is definitely my absolute favourite part of All Star Movies. So we've just got back to the room and we are absolutely 
exhausted. So I've got ready for bed and now we're gonna go to bed. Um, so tomorrow is Animal Kingdom Day, which will be the next video. So I will see you all there and see you all real soon. Bye.